most amazing ancient ruins in the world. The world is home to plenty of amazing ruins and archaeological sites, from disintegrating metropolises to sanctuaries that have withstood everyday hardship. There's something surreal and mystical about wandering the haunting ruins of an ancient place, especially those that once were homes to great empires and fascinating cultures. Those that flourished and in many cases just suddenly faded away. The world is filled with awe-inspiring ancient ruins, some dating back thousands of years. There are crumbling cities and others that have miraculously withstood the test of time and nature. But each of these provides some profound insight into the very lives of these ancient civilizations. Number 25. Pompeii. Pompeii is one of the most significant proofs of Roman civilization and, like an open book, provides outstanding information on the art, customs, trades and everyday life of the past. The city has re-emerged from the darkness of centuries precisely as it would have been when it was unexpectedly buried in a thick layer of ash and lava which poured down from the devastating eruption of Vesuvius. Largely preserved under the ash, the excavated city offers a unique snapshot of Roman life, frozen at a moment it was buried. Number 24. Ayutthaya. Founded around the year 1350, Ayutthaya is a historical city that began as a Khmer military and trading post. It wasn't long before the thriving trading port became the ancient capital of Thailand. It held onto this title for four centuries until it was burned down by Burmese invaders. As many of the temples and relics of the city were crafted from wood, the large majority were destroyed. Only around 50 stone relics and temples survived the fire and can still be seen today. Since renovations started in the 1970s, exploring Ayutthaya's mix of Siamese, Sri Lankan and Khmer architecture has become a popular day trip from Bangkok. Number 23. Stonehenge With a history spanning four and a half thousand years, the archaeological site of Stonehenge has many different meanings to people today. Its ring of standing stones is a masterpiece of engineering and building it would have taken huge effort from hundreds of well-organised people using only simple tools and technologies. The purpose of the ruins is unknown to us. Who built Stonehenge is still debated today, though two popular theories maintain it was used as a site for religious rituals or otherwise to monitor the movements of the sun and moon. Number 22. Ephesus One of the most complete, still-standing famed cities of antiquity in the Mediterranean region, this is the place to experience what life must have been like during the Golden Age of the Roman Empire. The city's history dates back to the 10th century BCE, but the major monuments you see today all date from its Roman era when it was a thriving commercial centre. In particular, the Library of Celsus, the complex of frescoed terraced houses and the Great Theatre all point to the wealth and importance of Ephesus during the Roman period. Number 21. Mohenjo-Daro Mohenjo-Daro, which signifies the mound of the dead men, is an intricate mortared brick and mud brick city situated in Sindh province, Pakistan. Constructed by the Indus Valley Civilization about 2500 BCE, this vanished city was perhaps the biggest city on the planet and may have housed a pinnacle populace of more than 40,000 souls. It had cutting-edge civil engineering and water management, containing cesspits and public baths, flush toilets, and its numerous rectilinear structures were organized in a grid pattern, striking even by present standards. Number 20. Ellora Caves The Ellora Caves are made up of a series of caves, monasteries, chapels and temples carved into the side of a basalt cliff. Out of 100 caves, only 34 are open to the public. Located in Maharashtra, India, Ellora dates back to 600 AD 
and took Buddhist, Hindu and Jain monks over five centuries to craft. The highlight of the Ellora Caves is the Kailasa Temple. Dedicated to Lord Shiva, it is the largest monolithic sculpture in the world. Other worthy sites include the large preaching Buddha in the Carpenter's Cave, so called because of the rock's resemblance to polished wood. Don't miss the two enormous statues of Indra in the Chota Kailash Cave. Number 19. Gobekli Tepe Once thought to be a cemetery, Researchers discovered Gobekli Tepe's actual purpose, a megalith of rituals, social gatherings and other religious events. Additionally, archaeologists consider Gobekli Tepe an important ancient site and speculate that humans used this site during the pre-pottery Neolithic era, which was around 11,500 years ago. The site comprises of a large number of circular structures supported by massive stone pillars, the world's oldest known megaliths. Many of these pillars are richly decorated with figurative anthropomorphic details, clothing and reliefs of wild animals, providing archaeologists rare insights into prehistoric religion and the particular iconography of the period. Number 18. Terracotta Army the purpose of protecting their first emperor of China, Xin Shi Huang, is the Museum of the Terracotta Army. These hundreds of life-sized models are detailed so well with facial expressions, hairstyles and attires which were moulded in parts, fired, then assembled and painted. Not only humans but also horses were completely made by hand without any advanced tools. More than 700,000 artisans and labourers constructed the terracotta army and tomb complex. Hollow torso, solid head, arms and legs were created separately, then assembled with each warrior stamped with his name. The army took an estimated 40 years to complete. Number 17. Borobudur Temple Borobudur is the most visited tourist site in Indonesia. This famous Buddhist temple, dating from the 8th and 9th centuries, is located in central Java. It was built in three tiers, a pyramidal base with five concentric square terraces, the trunk of a cone with three circular platforms, and at the top a monumental stupa. The walls and balustrades are decorated with fine low reliefs covering a total surface area of 2,500 square metres. Around the circular platforms are 72 open work stupas, each containing a statue of the Buddha. The monument was restored with UNESCO's help in the 1970s. Borobudur remains the world's largest Buddhist temple. Number 16. Luxor Temple Largely built by the New Kingdom pharaohs Amenhotep III and Ramesses II, this temple is a striking graceful monument in the heart of a modern town. Also known as the Southern Sanctuary, its main function was during the annual Opet celebrations when the statues of Amun, Mut and Khonsu were brought by Karnak along the avenue of the Sphinxes and reunited here during the inundation. In front of the temple is the beginning of the Avenue of the Sphinxes that ran all the way to the temples at Karnak, three kilometres to the north and is now almost entirely excavated. Number 15. Sigiriya Like Machu Picchu or Masada, Sigiriya impresses visitors just with the absurdity of its construction. It's a huge rock formation that's been carved and transformed into a palace. The ruins are near the town of Dambulla in the central part of the country. Built around 1,500 years ago, the palace complex sits atop a 660-foot rock with sheer walls. Those walls have ancient painted frescoes and carvings transforming the whole structure into a work of art. In the middle of one rock wall, there's a giant gateway carved in the shape of a lion. Aside from the palace above, the area below is an intricate city complex with gardens and residential and commercial areas. It's a very important surviving example of early city planning from this era. Number 14. Mesa Verde 
Deep in the American Southwest, you'll find Mesa Verde National Park with its fascinating collection of 600 ancient clifftop dwellings. The most famous of these dwellings is the Cliff Palace, built into an enormous sandstone alcove that's protected it from the elements for over seven centuries. It's the largest of its kind in North America, and unlike the rest of the dwellings that contain just a few rooms for residential purposes, the palace had over 150 rooms and 23 sacred kivas. Having been lived in for close to a century, these unusual cliffside villages were suddenly abandoned in the 13th century. Nobody really knows why. Today, around 4,800 archaeological sites dating back to 550 AD can be found in Mesa Verde, some of which are open to the public. Number 13. Cappadocia The surreal, swooping rock valleys of Cappadocia are every photographer's dream. Cliff ridges and hill crests are home to rippling panoramas of wave-like rock or wacky-shaped pinnacles that have been formed by millennia of wind and water action. And if you don't feel like hiking for the views, this is one of the world's top destinations to take a hot air balloon ride. Nestled in this unique lunar-like landscape are the frescoed, rock-cut churches and cave-cut architecture of the Byzantine era, when this area was home to the monastic Christian communities. In particular, the multiple cave churches of Goreme Open Air Museum and Ilara Valley are home to some of the best examples of surviving mid-Byzantine era religious art in the world. Number 12, Tulum. One of the most popular attractions in Mexico, the Tulum ruins attract over 2 million visitors each year. Tulum is located on the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The name Zamar, which translates to sunrise, was given to the area in the early 1700s. It's not hard to see why the sunrises in this part of the world are truly breathtaking. Its main structures are the Temple of the Descending God and the Temple of the Frescoes, whose internal walls shine with beautiful illustrations in blue and grey tones. The main palace of the Tulum ruins overlooks the pristine turquoise waters of the Caribbean and is a spectacular place to watch the sunrise. Number 11. Chichen Itza Perhaps the most famous of all Mayan ruins is Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza is known around the world and its image is one of Mexico's most recognised. Located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, Chichen Itza is a sacred city which covers around six square miles and was once home to hundreds of buildings which were built in both the classic Maya period and the later Maya Toltec period. Among the best attractions in Chichen Itza is El Castillo, a step pyramid built according to strict scientific and mathematical principles, which is a stunning example of Mayan astronomical knowledge. Chichen Itza has been included in the new seven wonders of the world. Number 10, Acropolis. The Acropolis of Athens is one of the most famous ancient archaeological sites in the world. Located on a limestone hill high above Athens, Greece, the Acropolis has been inhabited since prehistoric times. Over the centuries, the Acropolis was many things, a home to kings, a citadel, a mythical home of the gods, a religious centre and a tourist attraction. It has withstood bombardment, massive earthquakes and vandalism, yet still stands as a reminder of the rich history of Greece. Today, it is a cultural UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to several temples, the most famous of which is the Parthenon, dedicated to the goddess Athena, the Erechtheion, the Propylaea and the Temple of Athena Nike are some of the notable structures inside the Acropolis. Number 9. Tikal Tikal is probably the most breathtaking of all Mayan temples. It is located in Guatemala's Peten Basin and Tikal National Park. It was probably called Yaxmutal when it was a thriving city. It was the capital of one of the most powerful kingdoms of the time and its ruins are a testament to such importance. Tikal contains six very large temple pyramids. The largest, Temple Pyramid 4, is some 72 metres high and was finished around 720 AD. 
Climbing to the top of one of these ancient Mayan temples offers a great experience with beautiful panoramic views from above the treetops. Number 8. Karnak the Temple of Karnak was known as most selective places by the ancient Egyptians. It is a city of temples built over 2,000 years and dedicated to the Thebian triad of Amun, Mut and Khonsu. This derelict place is still capable of overshadowing many wonders of the modern world and in its day must have been awe-inspiring. For the largely uneducated ancient Egyptian population, this could only have been the place of the gods. It is the largest religious building ever made, covering about 200 acres, and was a place of pilgrimage for nearly 2,000 years. The great temple at the heart of Karnak is so big that St. Peter's Milan and Notre Dame cathedrals would fit within its walls. Number 7. Moai statues. Moai statues are massive megaliths at Easter Island, and these are what the island is famous for. The Moais were built in approximately 1400 to 1650 AD by the natives of this island, also known as Rapa Nui. Many know them as the Easter Island heads. This is a misconception from having seen photos of statues in the volcano Rano Raraku partially covered up with soil. Truth is it that all of these heads have full bodies. There are around 1,000 statues, up to 86 tonnes in weight and 10 metres in height, though the average is around half of that. Moai statues were built to honour chieftains and other important people who had passed away. They were placed on rectangular stone platforms called ahu, which are tombs for the people that the statues represented. Number 6. Colosseum Step into 2,000 years of history as you explore the most iconic symbol of the ancient world in Rome, the Colosseum. The Colosseum, also named the Flavian Amphitheatre, is a large amphitheatre in Rome. It was built during the reign of the Flavian emperors as a gift to the Roman people. Construction of the Colosseum began sometime between CE 70 and 72 under the Emperor Vespasian. It opened nearly a decade later and was modified several times in the following years. The massive structure has 80 entrances to the amphitheatre. The Colosseum could hold more than 50,000 spectators at its maximum capacity. When the Colosseum first opened, the Emperor Titus celebrated with a hundred days of gladiatorial games. Number 5. Great Wall of China the first thing that comes to our mind when we talk about China is one of the wonders of the world, the Great Wall. Just like a dragon, the wall snakes its way across many provinces for 21,196 kilometres from Dandong in the east to Lop Lake in the west. Apart from being built for defence, it also became a trading route for many. With a history of 2,300 years, this wall has been built by six emperors. Now well over 2,000 years old, some parts of the wall have fallen into ruin. Interestingly, for those who wanted to attempt it, walking the entire length of the Great Wall of China would take approximately 18 months. Number 4. Angkor Wat Often called the mother of all ruins, Angkor Wat is a majestic complex consisting of hundreds of vine-covered temples hidden in the depths of the Cambodian jungle. Over 1,000 of these temples lie scattered throughout the tropical forest, rice fields and farmlands of Angkor. Derived from the Sanskrit word Nagara, Angkor means city. It was once a thriving ancient metropolis. Today, Angkor is the most famous of its Hindu Angkor Wat temple that claims the title as the largest religious shrine on earth. The temple is beautifully well preserved, providing an incredibly breathtaking sight. Its striking five towers, reminiscent of lotus blossoms, tower 215 feet into the air from its over one mile base. Number 3. Petra Petra is an ancient city that lies in present-day Jordan and dates back to the 4th century BC. 
Ruins of the once great metropolis and trading centre now serve as an important archaeological site and tourist attraction. Carved directly into vibrant red, white, pink and sandstone cliff faces, the prehistoric Jordanian city of Petra was lost to the Western world for hundreds of years. Petra was once a thriving trading centre and the capital of Nabataean Empire between 400 BC and AD 106. In 1985, the Petra Archaeological Park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site and in 2007 it was named as one of the new seven wonders of the world. Number 2. Machu Picchu this abandoned old Incan city is hidden 2,430 metres up in the Andes and appears to be forever shrouded in fog. It's so well hidden that it went for centuries without being found, garnering it the moniker the Lost City of the Incas. Eventually, an adventurer found the location, but even then, it was only by chance. It has grown to be one of the world's most sought-after destinations on bucket lists in the years since its discovery. You can take in the surroundings from the Sun Gate, which serves as the renowned Incan Trail's entrance to Machu Picchu, and climb Huayna Picchu or Machu Picchu Mountain for an up-close view of the gorgeous valleys. Number 1. Giza the Giza pyramids, built to endure an eternity, have done just that. The monumental tombs are relics of Egypt's Old Kingdom era and were constructed some 4,500 years ago. Egypt's pharaohs expected to become gods in the afterlife. To prepare for the next world, they erected temples to the gods and massive pyramid tombs for themselves, filled with all the things each ruler would need to guide and sustain himself in the next world. Each massive pyramid is but one part of a larger complex, including a palace, temples, solar boat pits and other features. The ancient engineering feats at Giza were so impressive that even today scientists can't be sure how the pyramids were built.